All right, what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna to touch on how to set up your pressure washer to make it your best pressure washing experience ever. My number one pet peeve with pressure washing is obviously setup, um, you know, hooking up everything, but the number one pet peeve is the hose and trying to get it to follow me without kinking, without getting all bind it up behind me. Um, so we're gonna jump into it today. I'm gonna show you the exact uh, accessories that I use um, to make it an enjoyable experience to use your pressure washer. The pressure washer that I'm using for this demonstration is the Portland pressure washer from Harbor Freight and it uses an M22 by 15 millimeter attachment point. You'll, you'll see as I get into the video what exactly that means. Um, most pressure washers, the ones you can get at Home Depot, Harbor, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, all that kind of stuff are an M22 by 14 millimeter. So if you want to upgrade the hose on this one, you do have to get an adapter, which I will show in the video. But with that said, guys, if you have a Ryobi, a Craftsman, a, uh, oh man, Greenworks I think is good, uh, I can't remember exactly, um, but it, look up the specs of it. If it says M22 by 14, you don't need the ad, uh, adapter. Ryobi's for sure, you do not need the adapter. It's a direct replacement. Um, you can either screw the hose right to it or screw these uh, quick connects right to it. It'll fit perfectly. Um, the Craftsman's for the same, same, same deal there. So uh, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and jump into it. And as always, if you enjoy these types of videos, anything related to car detailing, tips, tricks, how-tos, and product reviews, then please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it, and now let's get back to it. Okay guys, so the unit's out. I'm gonna go ahead and take my phone. I'm gonna film everything in nice and close for you. We're gonna go over the exact uh, pieces to this whole setup that I use, and uh, go from there. So, first off guys, here is the pressure washer itself, okay? Very nice, there's actually a handle that goes up here. I'm not even installing that, I, I don't need it. It's, it's necess unnecessary for me. Um, there's still a handle attachment here. You just don't get all the little parts to um, a little storage parts. But again, I don't need that. You have your water inlet on the back of the unit, which I really like. You have a nice steel mesh filter there, brass connection point, all good, which is nicer than a lot of other units come with like plastic pieces here. So this, the fact that this one comes with a little brass piece is nice. Around the front of it is your water outlet. This is where your pressure washer hose will get connected to. Right up here, you have your on off switch, super simple. Um, one thing to note guys, First piece to the puzzle here is this little guy. This is an M22 by 15, which is this point over here, to M22 by 14 uh, connection point. So basically what this is, it's an adapter. This machine comes with an M22 by 15. What that means is this outer diameter uh, and, and thread is an M22. This inner diameter, this distance from here to here is 15 millimeters. Now, a lot, a lot, a lot of pressure washers, um, all the Ryobis, all the Craftsman, all that kind of stuff, um, the majority of them, and as well as the hoses are M22 by 14, meaning that this little piece here that fills that hole on, on this hose is a 14. Um, so if you put it in there, it's not gonna fill that hole properly and you're gonna get a leak. So what you need to do is just get this little adapter, the 15 goes in, Tightens down on it, nice and snug. And then your aftermarket pressure washer hose will fit right into that and screw down. You're not gonna have any sort of uh, leaks from there. Now, with that said, guys, you can attach it just like that, or you can, I have this little kit here, and you can put quick connects on it, which makes your life a whole lot easier. Basically what quick connects do, instead of having to screw this on and off every time, you just pull the little pin back, slip it on, and, it's, and you're set. It also kind of reduces some wear and tear of threads and, and uh, the little um, gaskets and stuff. So I really like using them. Again, it's not needed, but I do like to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up right now. Now this little kit is absolutely fantastic because you get two different sets of quick connects, right? Perfect there. You also get a set for like just a basic garden hose setup. So this is really nice too. You can actually just put this on the back end of the pressure washer if you want. You can uh, put that there and then this part would hook to your hose and you can just quick connect to it and, and out of it. It just depends on if you want to set that up or not, but this kit's great because it comes with it. Now moving back around to the front, again we have the M22 by 15 to M22 by 14 adapter. Now we're going to go ahead and connect the male fitting um, of the quick connect right here. Super easy, just tighten that whole piece down on there. Now we can connect a uh, female end into our hose. And basically you just wanna take it, slip it over to the O-ring inside, right? And then go ahead and start turning it to get it to grab. And then you can just keep going and it'll tighten the down nicely. 
and they'll be all set. Good to go. Okay, from there we want to talk more about our hose. So the hose that this unit comes with, like I said, is, is terrible. Um, it's short, it kinks, it's not any good. This is the Uberflex hose by a brand called ProPulse. Fantastic hose, guys, if you've seen my videos in the past, you know why I love this thing. But if you haven't seen them in the past, then here's why. It's 50 feet long. I love 50 feet long because it allows me to leave the pressure washer just static in one place, and then I can reach around the whole vehicle with no issues, not having to move that pressure washer. With a 20 foot hose, I gotta move the pressure washer. 50 foot hose, I don't. So it's very, very nice. Also, very, very, very pliable. Like, just amazing. Doesn't kink, you can get it to actually roll over on itself, right? But there's no memory to the line. So there's no pressure point or anything like that in this hose. Fantastic hose, I love these things. That, like. I use these every day in my professional detailing business. They're not an industrial grade hose, but I don't have any issues with them. They're just a fantastic hose and I can't recommend them highly enough. So now that we have the quick connect on one side of it, we can just easily pop it in. Boom, we're set there. Go to the other side of the hose. Now from the hose goes to our pressure washer wand, right? This is the McKillen's pressure washer wand. You can also get MTMs and all that kind of good stuff. This one's just a little bit uh, less expensive. I use this thing so much. If you look at this thing, it's all scratched up and beat up and uh, even the housing's even cracked up here and it still works perfectly. The reason I like this one is it has a quick, uh, quick connect already ready and in, already uh, installed on it. And then it also has a swivel. Meaning when you're walking your, uh, your, your hose out, if it gets kind of tangled up behind you, you don't have to be doing this. You can just grab it and just turn it here and you're good to go. I will say it, it's nice and loose right now. Under pressure, it does tighten up. So just keep that in mind. It's not totally necessary to run uh, uh, a uh, swivel here, but it is a nice feature to have. Okay, so like I said, I installed another quick connect on the end of the hose, and now the pressure washer wand connects right in. Easy peasy, ready to go. The end of the pressure washer uh, wand here has a quarter inch. These are three eighths inch uh, quick connects. This is a quarter inch quick connect. So with that, we can now install the tip, right? So the way to get the best performance out of this pressure washer is you can basically, there's a whole bunch of tips you can buy. Zero degree, 15, 25, 40, all that kind of good stuff, right? When I'm working on cars, I typically like to work with a 40 degree. It's a nice wide fan, so you're able to get everything done. Um, but the most important part here is the orifice size. That's the size of the actual hole way inside there. You can see light kind of shining through it. That hole is what determines your PSI and your GPM. So the smaller that hole is, the higher your PSI is gonna be, and the lower your GPM is gonna be. Again, I like to work in that 900 to 1200 PSI and as much GPM as I can get. So with this 3.5 orifice nozzle, again, I'll have it linked in the description for you guys. So we can basically just plug it in and we are good to go. So uh, one last thing is because this uh, pressure washer does ship with a foam blaster, uh, basically it applies soapy water to your car. Uh, I just do want to touch base with this, with you guys. This is a foam cannon. This is the one I prefer. I sell them on my own personal site. There's a million foam cannons out there. This one seems to get the most foam. Uh, this is my favorite. Um, but there's also much cheaper options uh, that you can get and you can just replace the orifice inside of it to get more foam out of it. This one still, again, like I said, gets significantly more foam than all, the other, uh, all of the others, uh, but they all come with a quarter inch quick connect. So you can just apply that to your wand as well, and then you can apply a nice, this gives you tons and tons of foam. I have a whole video on this. I'll link in the description for you guys as well. So that is basically it, guys. Very, very, very simple setup. Pressure washer. Okay, water inlet will come in right to the back. Pressure washer on off switch. Runs down to the water outlet. Into a quick connect that runs down into my 50 foot pressure washer hose. Into another quick connect into my pressure washer wand. And then you have the tip. So there you go guys. Really, really simple and effective and cost effective way to make your pressure washing experience 10 times better. I also did a whole video on the like, top five pressure washer upgrades. This is kind of a, uh, of a reiteration of that, but this is just specifically showing you how to hook it all up in line so you can just get it, plug it all in, plug and play, make it super simple for you guys uh, so you can get back to it. Anyways, I hope that helps you guys. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.